The CIA Museum has never taken an official poll to find out our workforce's favorite artifact. But if we did, this letter written by future director Helms would probably be high on the list. It speaks to our mission, ridding the world of evil, and the sacrifices our officers make every day in that endeavor. Richard Helms was in the Office of Strategic Services, and during the war, his missions took him all over Europe. While fighting the war, he found this piece of Hitler's personal stationery. He stopped and wrote this eloquent note to his young son, commemorating Victory in Europe Day and explaining why he had been gone so long. He wrote, Dear Dennis, the man who might have written on this card once controlled Europe three short years ago when you were born. Today, he is dead his memory despised, his country in ruins. He had a thirst for power, a low opinion of man as an individual, and a fear of intellectual honesty. He was a force of evil in the world. His passing, his defeat, a boon to mankind. But thousands died that it might be so. The price of ridding society of bad is always high. Love, Daddy. The price of ridding the world of evil or bad is always high. And here at CIA, there's no more poignant reminder of that price than the stars on our memorial wall. Each of those officers was a part of ridding the world of evil and making this country safer. And just like Director Helms, they often would go out on dangerous missions, leaving behind their families, sometimes young children, with the hopes of making their lives safer and their future brighter. The CIA Museum received this letter as a donation from the Helms family on the day this organization helped bring Osama bin Laden to justice, ridding the world of another great evil. <laughs>